So let's look at what is observer pattern. So observer pattern has one subject and multiple listeners. So subject is where things happen like achievement complete, new character unlocked, game over, game win or game start or any other game states or in-app purchase completed, fail or in process or something exciting happens on the subject and the listeners are the scripts or the manager who are interested in what happens on the subject. So for example, if achievement gets complete, then the UI manager might want to listen to that and show some UI or if game gets over then music manager might want to change its music so it might want to listen to that as well as UI manager might also want to listen to game over so it can show UI according to that or if in-app purchase get complete then UI manager then game manager might want to know that to so it can process its logic according to that. So that's the observer pattern in nutshell. There is one subject and one or multiple listeners are interested in what happens to subject. So that's the theory. Let's get into the practicality. Hey, so welcome to the project and this is one sample project I have created. So it currently does only moving of our player cube player anywhere on the ground whenever I wherever I place the mouse button. So the observer pattern would look like this. So this is our player which will act as a subject. So player will be subject. And our audio manager will be observer. So what it will observe is if user collects this green coin. Then it will spawn the green sound. If player collects the red then it will spawn the red sound and if player collects purple then it will spawn the purple sound so yeah that's the basic observer pattern let's start so i have created this player manager so currently if user presses anywhere on the ground it will move the player to that position so let's now add on trigger so on trigger enter so what we want to do on trigger so I have this tag coins on every coin so if other dot compare tag other coins then we want to throw the something we need to do here that will make our audio manager listen to that and it will know okay that I want to play the red sound or green or purple. So how we will do that? So we will use Unity's event and delegate system. So for that we need to add system. So public static event action. So what will be the action? So action would be that user collected the coin and we need to pass something so we need to pass what coin what color coin user collected so we we'll pass the string and the coin collected will be the event name and we will do the null, null check so it will pass the coin collected event and we need to pass the tag so what we can do is we can create three tags so this will be green coin so this will be green coin this will be red coin and this will be purple coin Cool. So if user on trigger enters purple coin, then we will pass the purple coin green coin 
green coin and a red coin cool so now let's go to the audio manager so we have this subject so coin collected would be so player manager would be subject and this will be coin collected notification so what it will do is player manager will throw a notification to all the observer who are interested in knowing that what type of coin you this player has collected and our audio manager would listen to that event so to do that let's create an on enable event and on player manager dot coin collected notification plus equal to so it will create this listener and also on on disable we will add the minus so it will or it will <laughs> go into the memory leaks so yeah so it is static event so we won't need to recreate the player manager we can just directly use coins collected notification and we have this string as parameter so we added the parameter and the coin name so yeah let's now do the final logic so switch coin name so case red coin case green coin case purple coin so let's go to the my audio source dot play play one shot red collected green collected and the final would be purple collected so yeah that's it i guess it should work so let's test it out so let's go to the audio manager and we will drag these are green on the green then the red sound on the red and the purple on the purple so if i press now and if i move to the red then it should play red coin then yeah so it is playing if i go to the purple it's playing purple so yeah there we use the observer pattern so let's now suppose if we want to also show it to the ui manager like if we want to debug and show the debug log then we can do that quite easily so if i go to the general where is console screen okay so we will sh instead of you on we will show our ui on console so let's create a quick one ui manager so suppose this is our ui manager and now suppose ui manager want to show user a feedback like uh, green collected or red collector or purple collected then we can do that quite easily just we need to copy our implement our pattern on this so on disable minus equal to and nothing we just need to copy this same over here and we will instead of my audio source we will debug dot log red collected or green collected or the purple collected so that's it you can see how easy and how quick it is to use delegate and how powerful it is to use observer pattern so now if i go to green 
you can see red collected a debug gets shown and the best thing is like player doesn't care who are who are listening to it it just throws its event and whoever want to listen to that can listen and show what do whatever with that so that's the best thing about observer pattern and i hope you get the good understanding of it if you have any questions do let me know in the comments and do go through this video one more time if you want to it's quite easy and simple and if you understand its core then you will use it everywhere in everywhere in your game logic so yeah see you guys do subscribe to my channel if you want more of this game design pattern videos or anything related to unity and i will keep posting videos regularly weekly one or two videos so